Hello, everyone. Well, I think we are live. Let me uh, verify that on my device here. Okay, let's see. I think so. I got an email notification, so that's a good sign. Let's see if the volume is there. I see the comment. It's funny. It's kind of a delay there. Here we go. Let's see if we get volume. First, I have to turn my volume on. Here we go. I think we're on. Hello, everyone. We are. Okay. Perfect. 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 That's what I want to know. Sound is good. Awesome. Well, welcome to Create on the Fly. Tonight, I know a little bit what I'm going to do. It's the end of celebration, so I'm trying to incorporate all the celebration product that really didn't even see the daylight of a um, uh, in my room here. So tonight um, I'm going to be using uh, driving by with the ocean front and also celebrate with flowers. So three set. Below in the description you get the direct link that's going to tell you all the supplies that I'm using. It's a very simple card and it's a card that we can turn it for many occasion. So um, and then I'm going to be live again Saturday. Yeah, I send my newsletter and I delete everything from live, whatever coming up, class, blah, 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 at the bottom and so on. Well, at the place at the top, I forgot to delete it. So I decide it's another card that I saw uh, J. Mistush Miss, I don't know this, the name. It's J. is an artisan uh, designer. I absolutely love it. It's the Northern Light with um, the Simply Marvelous Paper Celebration. So I'm going to share it with you in a second. But I'm going to share that Saturday morning. Just a, That's going to be quick, okay? But I want to do that before celebration is over. And know that all the product in celebration, it is while supplies last. So some of it can be out before the 28th, okay? So let me flip this down. Boom. Okay, so that's the stamp set that I'm using tonight. So we're going to be using Ocean Front. And I plan to use quite a bit of that. It's just calling my name for some reason. Uh, and this one, well, this is my to-go a lot of the time for a grading. Make your day be filled with sunshine. I think that go for many things. And also, I love that happy birthday on the long way. So, okay. And then this is the driving by. We're going to use, and some of you have been following me for a long time, and I bet you can guess what I'm going to call that. It's the shagging wagon. So if you look, and I think it's still there in my bio, now I have to look on my site. Uh, just because I think it's funny, because I get the shagging wagon in the background. So... I'm going to go quick, look on my site, and we're going to see, um, so right here when I say welcome or at the top, it say more about me. So if you click on that, okay, that didn't do it. So let's see another place. I thought that was doing the trick. Let's see. Okay, right here. So there's about me. Well, that picture, it's not there anymore. That's too bad. Yeah, I used to have a picture and you see in the background, I'm sure it's someplace on my blog that you see me stamping camping and um, the picture of the van, it's in the back. So we call that the shagging wagon. Okay, so we're going to use this all in the celebration. 
So before we get started, though, note that anybody that leave a comment, so it's just one entry per name, doesn't matter how many that you're going to leave, I'm going to draw from the comment for the card that we're making tonight, and I'm going to announce it next week. So last week, uh, I think this for me was a super winner card. Uh, this is a silhouette uh a technique that I absolutely love and it's a window also so this is the vellum so you can see in my video if you didn't see it last week you can watch the replay boom that's the new horizon paper talking about the new horizon paper that coordinate with the coming uh, paper pumpkin plus paper pumpkin and it's an extra stamp set in March I think I think I think I think that you want to be part of that so uh, that's a good man and then when you open it up boom plenty of place to write whatever so that was last week create on the fly and it was a true create on the fly it was fun the lucky winner it's sue Wisnicks ski i'm not sure how to say your last name sue but it's w i s n i e w s k i so congratulations sue you're going to need to go at frenchystamps.com and right at the top you get contact me uh, at frenchystamps.com and right there you want to give me your mailing address and this is going to be mailed to you. I'm giving you a week to claim it. If not, it go back in my stash because I would have stack all over. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm going to share with you Saturday. And this year... It, I, I copy J whatever the 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 Northern Lights. I call it the Northern Lights. And uh, before somebody say it's no pink, green, purple, and that in the sky, I want you to Google Northern Lights. It because every time I talk about Google uh, Northern Lights, I got those email and message that. I, pretty much I'm crazy that sky don't look like that so please google uh, northern lights it is amazing so this year if you ever had problem to do the northern lights with the simply marvelous uh, paper it is super did I say super it is super easy even your kids your grandkids can sit with you and do that okay so uh, oh, Sue, you're on. Awesome, 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 Sue. So make sure you email me. Um, so this, I'm going to share how to make that Saturday. But you see the dancing of this? It is wonderful. So this one got more pink. This one here, the uh, camera, I don't think do justice, but it's quite a bit of pink to purplish on the side and the top. So I'm going to share both on how to do this, okay? And this here, it's, I love this technique. It's like looking up. So it's going to be a few techniques together, right? Okay, let's get uh, jiggy with it. And let's do this. Uh, see, I get two stamps that I use for that. Like I said, I don't have time to use everything and poof, it's gone, right? So I'm going to stamp my shagging wagon with memento and I know some of you are going to say the band the little uh, but uh, not the book the book it's the other one um oh what it's called that little band now I cannot think of the name I'm sure somebody going to mention it but for me it's the shagging wagon here we go and then we're going to color that and it's going to color a very simple okay so I'm going to start with the window and I'm using pool party the light for the window and I just gonna go do not all about just the uh, edge here on the left. Okay, so all my window I just then did the on the left. Now I'm gonna take uh, my light crumb cake and I'm gonna do a round. And even, don't, don't 
sweat the little detail in that just color it you can spend a lot of time some people i mean it's beautiful all the shading and so on they do with the blends or watercolor but sometimes you just want to get a card done and you have to get it you know not so detailed so that's okay both ways it's okay but what i'm trying to say it's you don't have to spend all that you know 10 hours on a color in one object now i got the dark color and um this is cajun craze and then i'm gonna go over here so all the dark it's pretty much on um the left Okay, now I'm going to go come with the light. The van again, yeah. And us, I don't know, it's because it, our van, it's like a, I think it's in 74. And it's one that it's converted that, you know, you can go camping. We get the bed in it and the stove and little potty and so on. And um, we sold our big camper when we got the boat. And then because we were tired of hauling two, we needed two vehicles for the boat and the camper. So we got the van so then we could just get one vehicle and go. So that's how we get the shagging wagon well my son wanted that so bad when we moved to texas and we we're like uh, i don't think we can use that in texas don't have the hair conditioner so my son got it when he graduated from college and i mean it's an antique put it that way absolutely an antique but i mean he wanted that so bad so now i'm going to use the light crumb cake and just add a little piece, a little bit here and there. I want some of it that look like rust. And it seemed when I had the crumb cake, it just gives some shine, to, not shine, but that discoloration. Now, I'm, oh, I forgot the smoky slate. I need smoky slate light. And I'm going to do the rim right here and here. And that's really, it sh that should have been white and the center gray. So both of them are going to be gray. The All around should have been the white wall. I was talking and that's what happened. So really that around there should be uh, white for the white wall. That's way back when we had those white wall, right? Now I'm going to use black for the tires. Okay, I need the little <coughs> dip. Thank you all that share with your friend and um, give me those thumbs up and so on. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, the more we share, the more I can grow my business. So thank you, thank you so much. Here we go. So now I got my tires. And then we're going to use Smoky Slate. And I'm going to, here we go, the bumper and the muffler. And really, the muffler need a little bit of Cajun. I think it's rusted a little bit. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of um, red for my backlight here. And then my front it's going to be pool party for uh here we go and then i'm going to come back with crumb cake and the fender is going to be crumb cake not the fender but the what's that called it's kind of whatever that call around the wheel the well wheel well because that's the fender right the bumper in the back the fender in the front 
Okay, this needs to go darker too. Here we go. Now my van, it's, and really that's the longest thing I think I'm doing tonight. Voila. Is that a cute little van? Okay, let me, we're going to, I know some of you don't like to end cut, but it's going to be quick, okay? So I'm going to, oops, oops, oops. I, I, that's my poker. That wouldn't be good if I step on that. So I'm just going to end cut this by hand. And remember, when you uh, end cut, you um, open and close the scissors. If you're righty, that lefty, I'm not sure because I cannot cut on left hand. And then my left hand, that's what that control the paper. So really, my left hand don't move except open and close the scissors. So that's how you can have a smooth finish to when you cut. So you have to just remember that it is your left hand that move the paper. Your right hand just open and close, open and close, like the school bus door, right? Here we go. That's it. The Scooby-Doo bus, absolutely. My son was a big fan of Scoot. Scooty Doo, that he called it. It was a Scooty Doo. Okay, now can you guess what I cut out of this? I bet you can. So uh, it's no pattern. I just went a little bit, curved this around, and then around this way. Mm. Do you know what that is? I won't say yet. I'm going to let you guess, okay? Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. So I bet you guys can guess what that is. Now we're going to take a piece of, um, mm, I think it is a four by five and a quarter. Yes, four by five and a quarter. And we will, okay, we're going to use this piece, this piece, this. Okay, let's start building one thing at a time. Is that, that's not big enough? Yes, yes. Whoever said surfboard, bing, a go. Annie, you were the first one, I think. You got it. It is my surfboard. Yes. So, now, you know what? I need, because uh, I'm going to go on the side of this. Let me grab a piece of paper. Oopsie. Here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead with, what the heck? I didn't even bring my ink. That's silly of me. I had got my ink out, and I think I put it back out, uh, put away. I'm going to uh, start with the top with, um, with Coastal Cabana photopolymer. Okay, now we're going to smack that. Oh, I want the straight line at the bottom. I'm going to smack that right here. And, okay, now I'm going to have to washy, washy. I don't have enough uh, thing. Um. Okay, this is my washy, washy. Somebody asked me, oh, my gosh, why it's so black. It's because I use it. Uh, yes, I rinse it under water, but if you use uh, your product as much as I do, that is normal. Somebody was asking a question last week. And I still, I think I toss it, but I thought I did a video about that. When is it the time to change your, uh, your washi? Uh, your, your thing, that it's called a washi. And I say, when it starts peeling up, absolutely, it's time to have a new one. 
Okay, now we're gonna go, okay, so this was Coastal Cabana. Now we're gonna go Bermuda Bay. And then flat, gonna go with the flat. And I like to overlap them a little bit, okay? Chamois, here we go, yep, chamois. Now that's our water. Now we're gonna washi washi. And then we're gonna go with the ground or the sand or whatever you call it. That's gonna be with crumb cake. So we're gonna close this and we're gonna go with crumb cake. Go straight, gonna go at the bottom and the rough at the top there. So, like this. Uh, wait a minute. No, it's still straight line at the top, straight line at the top, okay? But I'm gonna go it with twice here. I'm gonna go this way, take it, and off on it, and then again. So I didn't re-ink it there. I just put it back straight, okay? Voila. So I get a little bit more. And now I'm gonna use this sand. We need a little bit of sand. Okay, we're gonna leave that like that. And we're gonna go ahead and do the long, it's kind of, oops, I'm running out of space here. Uh, it's like the seagrass, okay? Gonna put some of the seagrass right here. And I'm gonna put some right there. But before I had more, now we have to decide where we're gonna put our car yet, okay? So let me make some space here, a little tiny bit. Okay, we're gonna put our shagging wagon down in the sand. Okay, now I can remove this, I think. Okay, we will uh, use dimensional. Remember, if you're just arriving uh, late and so on and you miss something, this is recorded so you can come back after I'm done and watch the replay. Absolutely, it is recorded. And then we're going to put, here we go, this right about here. Now we're going to take our surfboard. Mm, you know what? Where's my paper? I want a longer, I need longer and skinnier. So let me try this again. Okay, here we go. Okay, a little bit too long here. The other one was a bit too fat. Okay, and if you're wondering, this is from uh, In Good Taste Designer Series paper. Uh, if you love texture, you will love that paper. Now I'm just gonna curve that a little bit. And we're gonna use dimensional, uh, not dimensional, I'm sorry, um, glue dots. Here we go. What the heck? One minute. Let's try that again. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> that was the dog. 
there we go and then I'm gonna use my light and I need to add a little bit of shadow here something to all that and under the wheels also okay nothing it's floating up see you just brush a little bit and see the difference it give a little bit of shadow you want to keep the shadow going in one direction and um, it's just like secure the object there that's it okay so now that it's done now we're going to use uh, i can add you know what i thought maybe add more of uh oops this needs to stay there let me add um i want it flat in the bottom the reason why i want it flat in the bottom it's because that it's like stuck in the the sand and against the car there um yeah i won't add no more but we're gonna add um the grating and we're gonna add a little bit of something 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 else there so let's do the grating first okay okay this is done let me remove this Okay, I'm using Knight of Navy I grab for my greeting. And this say, may, um, may your day be filled with sunshine. So for me, this greeting can be for birthday, can be for just thinking of you, can be for anything really. So I'm going to add that right here. We're going to smack that right there. Boom. Is that pretty? I love that greeting. Love it. It goes so well with after the storm stamp set, right? Okay, so now we're done with that. We're going to do, um, let's close this. Garden green that I grab and evening evergreen. Now, we're going to use this here. Well, I'm glad you guys like that. Okay, so I'm using this tall grass here and we're going to do some magic. So I'm starting with garden green. Here's one. And I'm going to come right here. And then I'm going to go wet um, evening evergreen. So what that look like? You bet it looked like a loose palm tree, right? Anytime I do kind of trees or I like to have different tone in greens for leave and so on, it's just add quite a bit. I love it. That is one of the best compliments usually I can get. It's, I don't have that set, but now I need it. Now I'm going to go order it. So that means I did a good job showing that set. I think that um, the set for celebration here, the little uh, driving by, it's cute. I did a card with that one. The bug, I mean, how cute a bug is. It's just that now we're almost done with celebration. And I was like, I didn't even use that yet. Really live. Okay, let me finish the card. And somebody going to win this. I need to uh, do my um, an envelope, though. 
cannot have a na naked envelope we say right so <clears throat> what i'm gonna do for my envelope this is put away i still have my um car here and i will stamp that and show you a little something so let's say that you want to uh, color the van okay i will will not color the old van but let's say you want to color the van what you're going to do it's take a paper i'm just using the dimensional there put it inside and then you can color so i'm just going to color the window here because so, if you don't put a um, a paper in between you know it's going to go in the back of it so um it would you don't want it to go in the back so i would put a paper inside the envelope while you color it and really the backing of um the dimensional it's awesome because it's kind of waxy so you know for sure that that won't go usually i get a piece of um of what it's called what come in the back of the designer series paper the white one it cut kind of a glaze on it that's what i get a piece that measure uh, five and a half by four and a quarter and that's what i use in that see just a little bit and now see i cannot stop i need to add more but you get the jig of it right so then i can remove that and see it didn't go in the back okay let's attach that together we got our envelope now uh, this is bermuda bay that measure five and three eighths by four and one eight so five and three eighths by four and one eight yes i agree with you uh gene that it looked like the 70 vans absolutely it's really just need a thing of peace right there and yeah i think we got it right oh we have to uh, do the inside of our card cannot have the inside uh, so you know what we're gonna do let me do we're gonna open this back up and I'm going to use this. Where's my crumb cake? Here it is. Here we go and then we're gonna add um, let's add a little bit of um, seagrass okay and my seagrass come here Here we go. We're going to leave that just like that. So, how about that? So, is it something that you think you would make? I think it's way cute. Way cute. So, I'm going to show you. I had done one. I thought to do a video and a blog post for that. Well, I'm going to use this video and the blog post. I decided to go live. I didn't have enough time. Like I said, time is uh, creeping up on me. So, look very similar, right? there is so much fun so this one here it's the one that i did live so that's the one that i'm going to give away so let me sign this in the back and i will announce oh it's 22. i will announce the winner next thursday night yes next thursday night i will announce the winner but mark your calendar uh saturday i'm going to share how to do the northern slide 
the best thing because i start doing live more often now i'm just live on youtube not on facebook anymore right below here you get the subscribe button i really strongly recommend subscribe because when i go live you get notification you just get notification uh, when i go live you don't get notification when i um, when i upload a video so i'm starting to do more live and using those live video and put it in one of my blog feed and the reason why i'm doing that it's because a lot of people are uh, not getting my uh, feed that i uh, i upload video so that way it's a way that i can keep it going so keep that in mind so again right below you get the description and you get the subscribe there and also in the subscription you get all the project the product that i use tonight okay i'm looking if i get question here i don't really see question well i'm glad you like that and if you missed last saturday uh, class it was maybe two hours it was a long class but i get so many awesome compliments from that class it was i did a lot of hoops and oops and oops and i cover all my oops and people say they learn so so much from my mistake and all the tips that i share so feel free to watch the replay of that in the class it's still available by mail that's my grassy grove with um a new horizon paper still available now you can go at frenchystamps.com for all the detail and again sue don't forget to come i know you're live to come and give me your address i'm going to put that beautiful card in the mail to you and to all have a great weekend see you saturday morning if you're around and if not remember it's going to be recorded to see those beautiful northern light that's from the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper, also from Celebration. So soon it will not be available. Bye-bye for now.